uh, saying what what's going on here is causing some major issues on the taxpayers dot you know on the taxpayers dot uh, if, if y'all would like to read these or a copy of these I would be more than happy or I can read these findings to y'all and I have a lot more other information that I have uh, gathered over the past six years. In a nutshell, what the Department of Natural Resources is saying is basically what I'm telling you right now, that every area that you see one of these black mats, okay, there is erosion problems, there's road being washed out, uh, there's water being backed up, um, you know, and that's something that, you know, the Polish jury has jurisdiction over, okay? There's some other issues that you don't, and I, you know, I'm gonna honor what you asked me, Mr. McFarland, you know, to keep it simple and to keep it to the point. So, you know, that is what I wanted to speak with you today about, you know, to see if we can um, get some support, uh, because I'm just the voice of many, many local residents of this parish that have some major, major concerns you know, about their tax dollars being used um, to clean up messes that other, that corporations create. It's not right, it's not. We shouldn't have to do that as taxpayers. Um, that's my spin. You know, that's that's what I come to approach you guys about. Um, we'd be glad to talk with anybody uh, after the meeting if you have any more questions. Mr. I got one question. Okay. These pictures that you're passing around, is that Jim Tom Mayer? Yes, sir, that's Jim Tom Mayer. Have you ever like been said, denied excess of that road? Sir? Have you ever been denied excess of no, that road? No, I have never, you know, I have never been denied access. Okay, the maps in some of the pictures, are they on the right of way or are they on 6C property? I don't know, you know, I don't know how far is the right of way where you pick up the right of way from the center of the road, you know, or what is it, 50 feet? And now it's using the back slope of the ditch. I would probably be safe to say that some issues, some instances that there are. You know, I know where I know where Flat Creek crosses 126. If you go out there, uh, I know that that's probably state right away there. But that is a major, major concern right there. It's causing a lot of problems. And if we don't face these issues right now, you know, 10 years down the road, what's it going to cost? You know, what kind of problems uh, are we going to be facing? You know, we're, we're talking about uh, other waterways. We're talking about watershed, the W money watershed. And it's some concerns that a lot of people have. A lot of the voters have some major concerns about this. And we feel that it's being overlooked. You know, we do. We, we feel strongly that these issues are being overlooked and are being more or less swept under the rug. And Again, thank you. Thank you for allowing me up here. Mr. Bennett, would you make a copy of those documents that we have for the later, the later reference? No, Lord, backing up against the black match, and it, it has to get high enough to flood before the run off. Is that right? Well, what happens is this water you can get, we're seeing, we're seeing, uh, rises in water levels that we've never seen out there before okay it rains quarter of an inch you're going to get some major washing because what that what those black mats are doing they're restricting the water level it's just like the issue that they're having up north now in ohio with these ice you know with all this freezing ice okay downstream from the ice they're taking <coughs> upstream they're flooding you know they're, it's causing some major issues thank you man. Anything further? That, no, that's all. Any other comments at this time? We will look at this documentation and, and get back with you on the possible road committee meeting or okay. have other time to go further. And again, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Goss. Okay. Uh, next is Mr. Barry Holmes, road superintendent. Good afternoon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I come to you this evening with a little bad news uh, mm -hmm. due to the wet weather. We hadn't been getting to do a whole lot of grading. Uh, I think probably about three days after our last record meeting was 
good days and about the time our boxes came in for our bridges, it's been raining ever since. And, and we've got to have enough time after a rain for the water to get down where we can dam the creek to where we can get in and put these boxes in. Uh, so that's where we stand on our boxes at this time. Uh, but also on Harrisonburg Bridge, uh, we got one of the abutments, uh, all the piles are spliced and they're formed up to pour concrete. Uh, last Friday I went down and water was running across the top of our home. Uh, we went down today, the water's back down in the creek banks and we pumped the water out, but it probably will take two or three more days of pumping water out of our phones before we can actually get in and, and pull that uh, concrete on that end. But once we did do that end, will be, uh, that vent will be complete and we'll like eight more piles on that bridge to slice and we'll be done with it. Uh, it's kind of hard to give you a time frame right now with all the rain we've been having. Uh, uh, right now, probably in the creek where we've got to slide three piles Slicing the pile is not a big deal, but you've probably got about chip deep water there right now, and I mean, it's moving pretty fast. Uh, also, our, uh, we're having a little issue with gravel right now. Uh, James Rock, they're out of rock, and I didn't get to have a chance to talk to them today, uh, but they were out and hadn't been running any rock. So what I did today is we went and got uh, some the uh, SB2 from Wind Rock and and it it surprisingly tailgated <coughs> very well. We we could go out and tailgate it and not have to have a grader go back to the time. So uh, I think that'll be an improvement on our gravel situation right now. And uh, our pothole packing is going about as well as can be. Uh, I'm having to use a, a fill in at this time. Uh, but uh, all we can pray for now is to stop running where we can get back to work. Any questions? Um, uh, <laughs> Cut very little, and uh, we don't have a lot of 
gas and oil in the parish. So uh, there's just not a lot of places to get any more money. And I think maybe if you would just put an article in the paper a time or two stating what all y'all were responsible for and, um, you know, stating some of the things that, that you have to to take care of, the, the law states that you must do so and so with, with a lot of your money that comes in. And of course there's nothing else you can do except do what the law says. But uh, if y'all just put some articles in there between now and when the election is and, and kind of help people to understand that, that the money's not there anymore. Now, I don't like to pay a tax any more than anybody else, but um, if we're gonna have a road that we can drive over, I've been over quite a few of them lately and they are bad. Of course, I realize rain's made them a lot worse, but then there's, in our district especially, there's been no ditching done for years and years. And, um, I would like to see some ditching done, and I realize there's problems with that too, but I think maybe if, uh, you know, if you put these articles in the paper that maybe uh, <coughs> can change some of them's mind. You know, if, if they have a convenient way to go to town, if they have plenty of money to come to spend at town to buy their groceries and their uh, other needs, it won't do you any good if you can't get there over these roads. And if we don't have some money coming in, then that's the shape we're going to be in because they are, uh, with all the rain we've had and everything, there, there's no ditch, so it's just flat all of it. And um, we, we need to address some of these problems. You might state that in one of the articles too. Do y'all have a priority list for your roads? Okay, I was thinking you probably do. Then. And um, somebody has suggested that to me too. You know, that y'all should have a priority list. So maybe you should publish that priority list. That was just some thoughts that I had that might might help y'all to have. So we appreciate that. We all thank you. Okay, thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Talking about ditching. Oh, uh, lot lot of the problem with ditching is our utility companies instead of getting behind one foot beyond the back slope of the ditch and putting that line three foot in the ground, they put it up the ditch or up the middle of the road. And you can't ditch because you set up all the utilities. Set the phone line, set the water line, and you don't want that one to be fixed the phone line. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> but uh, have you ever thought about writing them all a letter and tell them that you have to work on the ditches and they have six months or a year to move their utilities off the back slope there where it should have been put to start with. I mean, I don't know if that would work. I'm sure you wouldn't get a lot we, we of cooperation. We spoke to them at great length about that, but uh, there's certain laws that restrict what we can and can't do with them. Mm -hmm. Franchise laws and I don't understand all that, but at, at this point, uh, they try to send us bills if we just say we beat up the phone line. They send us a bill for a certain truck coming out, even though their phone line's in our right way. And then we just have to do battle over but we're not gonna pay that bill because their phone line's in the right way. It's not just a phone company. I'm not, I'm not yeah. singling them out, but it, it's, it's some water districts uh, that there's other the gas lines, there's other issues that's been placed in our right of way. Uh, and it didn't just happen overnight, it's happened through many decades yeah. of years. But uh, something I would like to comment on uh, <clears throat> is there anything further, Mr. Murphy? No. 
Thank Somebody, you. I would like to touch on and, and bring some highlights to something she brought up. <clears throat> the timber severance tax in this parish, we all recognize that, that the generation of the timber being harvested is one of our largest sources of revenue for our roads. Uh, that is, we can get 75% of all the timber severance taxes collected uh, by the state, 75% comes back to your local parish. Wynn Parish in 2008, we received $1,069,000. And that has decreased down to 2014, we received $574,000. Now, I don't care how good a business person you are, that's a $500,000 loss of revenue that um, you just don't overcome. Uh, one of our other sources of revenue for our roads has been forestry tax. The forestry tax in 2008 was $384,000. We took the police jury and the uh, school board received the same equal amount. Uh, this year, it is estimated we will receive $119,000. And we could, we were told to expect that could be cut by 25%. So we're looking at 79,000. Well, there's another $300,000 loss. Now that's 800,000 and our budget wasn't one and a half million dollars to begin with. So I, I, I really I challenge anyone who thinks that they can uh, overcome that loss of revenue to uh, show me how. Uh, we, we, we're doing everything we can and, uh, it didn't happen overnight. It's been a slow process. Um, uh, every year, just more and more revenue has been gone. Uh, it's been taken away. And there's nothing that the police jury can do to stop that because that is a, those, those revenues are all under federal and state jurisdiction. So we, we have no control over stopping that loss of revenue. With that being said, uh, the amount of money that would be generated by the uh, half cent sales tax is approximately $900,000. And that would help us to overcome that shortfall. And if you remember, eight years ago, we had a hot mix program. There was a hot mix program in this parish that 200,000 every year was being, a hot mix program was being done to road. That's gone. We, we had more gravel to put out then, that's gone. Uh, we don't have matching funds for state projects, which is an absolute requirement under the uh, state constitution now. And their 25% is not what our 25% math is. Our math, 25% of a million is what? $250,000. Under their math, it's 333000 because they divide a million by 75%. Well, it's hard to turn down a million dollars and all you have to put up is 333000 It's hard for us to miss those opportunities, so I'm for you, and I appreciate Ms. Murphy advocating the tax, uh, but we, we do. We have to have the public understand, and we have to do a much better job of getting the public to understand that uh, there are significant losses of revenue that are going to affect not just the jury today, but future juries and our parish and, as a whole. Is there any other announcements or comments? Yeah, I'd like to say one little comment about it, and Miss Murphy, when you was on the jury and I first came on, we used to buy a ton of washed gravel for seven dollars a ton. Uh -huh. Period. What is it today? Thirty-six. Oh, uh, okay. it's thirty for limestone and twenty-eight for washed rock. Twenty-eight for washed rock. You know how far a ton goes. Yeah. <laughs> Fill up one good towel. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Jack, if you would. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I just want to address the police jury. And I understand the situation. I'm like Ms. Murphy. Uh, but I just wanted to come up tonight and say something to them. And y'all benefit. I understand. I've had a lot of lengthy talks with Jack about it road at my house is no different than anybody else's. So I don't complain. You know, I mean I do complain but I don't what's being done about my road. 
I understand nothing can be done, there's nothing out there. So, oh, it's yours, why can't you get a tax pass? You can't, in my opinion, you can't get that tax pass. It's going to take us, the people out here, no, no, no. we're going to have to speak up. And I, that's why I, I'm coming to challenge y'all, the people in your district, talk to them and let them know you're the one that's going to have to pass the tax. And, and those that are against it, you've got to, we've got to convince them that we've got to have this tax. And material like Mr. McFarland has, it shows you, and like she was saying, put it in the paper, the numbers. We understand the numbers. Some of us do. But Jack and some others know that he's bought rock, put on his road. I bought rock, put on my road, the parish road. But, but we can't keep doing that. You know, y'all got trucks that come down that road. So I'm trying to keep the road passable because I use it. But I can't keep doing it. I understand that. So from my standpoint, I need the road tax. Everybody needs it, but we've got to convince the public to vote for it. And if, Mr. Evans, if you go out in, in my district or in the store or wherever and you say, we need this tax on you, just don't put that up in his pocket. Mr. Cusco just wants something else. And we do want to do nothing. Y'all can't do anything, and I understand that. So you've got to convince the people that you come in contact with, hey, we need some support. We need the individuals, the citizens to pass this tax, not the police here. Y'all can't pass it. Can't be it wrong. So I'm, I'm here to say I'm in support of y'all. I'm in support of the tax, just like others. And I want to do what I can to help y'all do it. To get it passed. Thank you. Appreciate that. Any other announcements or comments? All right. There's no further guests. Our first item of business tonight on the agenda is Ms. Ann Good, Executive Director of Section 8. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. I'm going to turn this Section 8 housing program monthly report. Being in balance, $35,342.210. Expenditures at the store is $24,919.42. Balance at this time, ten thousand four hundred twenty-six dollars and sixty cents. Regular boxes on the list, fifty-eight family substitutions for ten. Total in all is six days. And the next sheet you'll find your cash flow report. We didn't have any inspections for the month of March. Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion that we accept the report for Section 8 housing. Hey, do you? Motion's been made and seconded. All in favor, sign the final saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carried. I'd like to say something else about this report, Section 8. Uh, it's another program that is it's needed for uh, individuals in our parish that are uh, in need assistance in home. But it's a, it's a federal program, and uh, the funding is short on it. And when the funding is short on it, uh, it falls back on the police jury. Uh, the taxpayers have to help cover the cost of that, and it's a federal program. And the federal authorities want to push this program and advocate <coughs> it, but they're not giving us the dollars to fulfill this program. So it's just another example of where your dollars are going. Thank you, Mr. Good. I'm on my soapbox now. <laughs> Uh, next time on the agenda is Ms. Darsley. Thank you, Mr. President. I have a motion to approve our, our monthly um, invoices. And our expenditures this month um, from the general fund is $42,542.87. The road fund, $28,453.87. Health unit fund is eight hundred and one dollars and twenty seven cents. Library fund five hundred and two dollars sixty eight cents. The sales tax fund one hundred and three thousand sixty six dollars and two cents. That brings the total to one hundred and seventy five thousand 
$366.73. Section 8 housing, $689.14. Bring the grand total to $176,000. $55.87. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. All in favor, send the final saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carried. Uh, the road this month, we have is $37 what we spent on every parish road. $28,453.89. That comes out to thirty-seven dollars. That's what we had to spend on each parish road. It's not going to get done. Uh, next item on the agenda is Mr. Phil Fast. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm I'm looking to recognize employee Jane Hustler as permanent and give a three percent raise. Right. Motion been made and seconded. All in favor, see the final saying aye. Aye. All those opposed. Motion carried. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Evans. This time on the agenda is tonight is a new motion to adopt a resolution authorizing the borrowing of three hundred and thirty three thousand dollars, providing for the issuance of certificates of indebtedness. So moved. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All who opposed? Motion carried. Next item is a motion to adopt a resolution to apply for community water enrichment funding for water main extension along the Cold Water Road. Second. Motion to be <coughs> seconded. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All who opposed? Motion carried. Any other announcements or comments at this time? Yeah. I'd like to first of all 